What we do here is go back, 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 back. Welcome everyone to a whole nother Bets Bets Fishing video. This video, I crab in the SF Bay. I made a beginner's guide, so if you don't know how to grab, that's perfect. Go watch the video, it's so simple. I described it perfectly. Um, this video is just me having fun with a junior Olympian. So let's get right into the video. Like always, chicken is my number one choice for crabbing bait. Here, this is Hibbert, he's a junior Olympian skier and also one of my really good friends and we're just going to toss the crab net out. Got nothing, just gonna check the bait and toss it right back. This time, let's guess if you think there's going to be crab in the net or not. Write it down in the comments, no cheating. Obviously, winner gets absolutely nothing. But yeah, let's see. Let me speed things up. Here I flipped it over to show you something. You see how the bottom of it's kind of wide on the shell part? That's because it's a female. The male ones are more tight, uh, uh, skinny I mean. Um, I don't like to keep the female ones, they have eggs. Um, and yeah. I got another one and I decided to do to do something that Fisherman's Life once did. Give this crab the opportunity of flight. It may never have the opportunity. If you didn't see that, this is literally the seal or sea lion. I'm not sure which one. He's chill. This is a male crab. See how it's more uh, tight at the bottom. And then I got a red rock crab. I didn't really want it. Not enough meat on it. So I gave that one the opportunity of flight. Like kept this big boy. These claws look like they're on some type of steroids. Before I move on to cleaning the crab, I want to ask you for a small favor. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and like the video. It helps my channel grow and I kind of want to make it grow and it's the simplest thing ever. If you're more of a hardcore fan, make sure to check out your merch. We have everything. A funny thing about these rock crabs is they like to play dead. So basically you can tell it's playing is its claws and legs are all in kind of tight and you can tickle it and it'll try to get you. These kids here kept trying to play with our crabs without masks and it kind of goes against fishing etiquette and I feel like teaching fishing etiquette is kind of important. I didn't get mad but just letting you know. Let's get into kind of the nasty part. Right here I'm puncturing the crab. Um, basically instantly killing it. Its nerves may move, but it won't a lot. And this is kind of the first step in cleaning a crab. 
I like to clean it before I cook it so the toxins aren't cooked in with it. There's many different ways to do this, but I showed my friend Hibbard how to do this, and he kind of helped me too. Basically, you grab all the legs like in claws like he is, and if you can't, just do um, one part at a time. And what you're going to do is take it, pull outwards, and twist, and it kind of separates all the parts of the bodies um, that you want to eat. And there is some meat inside the shell, but um, that's your preference if you, there is a higher risk of toxins. And then we disposed of the crab body properly. There's many different ways to clean a crab, so don't go at me in the comments. This is my personal preference of the way I like to do it. I've said this before and I'll say it again, but maintenance is an important part of crabbing and I don't want my gear to rust up. So basically, as soon as I got home, just sprayed it a little bit and then I'll move on to with the rest of my day. I know I said it was a catch and cook, but when I was editing the video, editing the video I realized that everyone has their own different tastes. So I say, I'm going to encourage you to look it up on your own and discover your own recipe that you like and let me know down in the comments what's your favorite recipe because really everyone has a different taste. That's all for this video. Like I said before, make sure to like and subscribe. See more of our content. I'll be doing more of this. Um, check out our t-shirts to represent Bex Bets Fishing. See y'all in the next one.